Hi everybody, this is Molly from the A&M Extension Office. I just wanted to give some information to some of you guys who might be new to 4-H Entomology or 4-H in general about what to expect from the 4-H Entomology team. If you're brand new to 4-H, um, we're basically just another youth development organization, but it's part of the A&M Extension Service. It's actually the oldest youth development organization in the nation, but it's very similar to Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Um, usually most kids join like a traditional club where it's led by some club leader, probably a parent who has a child that's in 4-H, and um, they do different things. You're assigned based on where you live so you don't have to travel very far. They usually meet once a month. They'll have different speakers come out. They'll do community service projects. They might offer different um, other types of projects, which would be akin to the patch for Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. And then for those, um, what I offer is a spin club, which is like a special interest club. So it's only, all we do is entomology. And you can sign up for that if you're not interested in doing a traditional club because you don't want to have to do extra stuff. The only reason why that's not a fantastic idea is as you get a little bit older, when you start looking at 4-H scholarships or different scholarships that 4-H allows you to apply for, and um, in that case they might look and say, well, you didn't meet your traditional, you didn't go with your traditional club, or you didn't do other community service projects that a traditional club would offer. But if all you're interested in is entomology and bugs, do it the spin club. It's the easiest route to go, less emails from people. So we are considered in District 10, the Southwest District, and there are 21 other counties that are a part of our district. So when we compete in the entomology contest, we're competing against other 21 counties, potentially, but usually not all of them actually compete with us. The only rule there is to join 4-H is you've got to be in third grade. So as long as you're in third grade, you can join 4-H um, through senior in high school. And um, that's pretty much it. If you're younger than third grade, you can still come to our meetings and get ready for next year. You're more than welcome. I don't ever turn anybody away. Um, so our purpose is to try to get together entomology teams to compete in the contest and so our end goal is to just do really well in this entomology contest come December and we study the bugs so that we're all ready for that. A team consists of a minimum of three and a maximum of four team members and I really like if we can to have four in our team because they only take the top three scores so um, if you're having a bad day it's not going to really matter because you have three other team members that can kind of pick up the, the slack and you never know what your score was so you don't know if you were the lowest score or not. It, you are assigned in teams based on grades so there's um, juniors are elementary aged, intermediates are middle school, and seniors are high school and we can have multiple teams that go. Usually we have two junior teams, two intermediate teams, and one senior team. If we end up with three junior teams um, they're not going to turn us away. We can have as many teams as possible. So the, the only expectations I have for the for the entomology team are really very minimum because I know that my kids have stuff going on. You probably have other things that you've got going on. There shouldn't be an additional burden of things that you have to do for your kiddos. And it should be fun for them too. Um, so all you have to do is become a member of 4-H. I'll tell you how to do that in a second just kind of communicate with us so that we know that you want to compete later on so that I'm kind of thinking about how to arrange the teams if it's an all girls team an all boys team you know arranging them so that they're a little bit um, they're more equal we don't want one team to blow the other team out of the water most of the time um, we practice once a month and so um, while you're not totally expected to come to every single practice if you've got to miss them go ahead and miss them but if you can make some make them because um, that's where we'll get all our practice in. The only time that that would hinder you is if we have five in an age group. Well, I can't have, I can't make two teams out of five. I can only make one team. And so if that's the case, I'll look and see who has been working together and studying at the practices. And if there's one that's missed most of practices, that individual is going to have to not compete as an individual, not compete on the team. They still get to come to the contest and compete as an individual but they're not on a team. And so during our practices, we're really just studying um, insects from the contest list. We're learning, you know, depending on how old you are and what, what age group you're in, you have to know more bugs if you're a senior versus being a junior in elementary school. But you have to know common name, order, 
mouth parts life cycle, different behavior things about the insects. Um, and we're learning all that stuff through different games and, and also me just kind of lecturing with the kiddos. It The contest is half written um, and half identifying the bugs. So the written part will be true, false, multiple choice, matching up mouth parts with the right common name, matching up orders with the right common name, that kind of thing. And then you'll have so many insects that you have to identify um, to order and to common name. Our contest this year is going to be held December 8th in Kerrville at 1.30. There's a, a school in Kerrville, Kerrville where it will be held. And unfortunately, this is a Friday. So um, that's something to consider if you don't want to take your kid out of school or you can't get them there. I have um, two alternatives to that or two um, good newses about that. One is that 4-H is considered UIL and so they're allowed eight, I believe eight um, excused absences for UIL. So this would count as an excused absence. Um, and I'm getting information if I need to provide paperwork for that when you when you take them out of school. And also, if you can't drive them there, um, I will be able to carpool some kids up there, and we'll just meet somewhere. Um, I have to pick my daughter up in the Bernie area, so I'm already halfway to Kerrville, so we can maybe meet around the Rim or somewhere 1604 and I-10, so I'm not heading all the way back into town. But we can meet there, and then I can um, take some kiddos up there. For most of our kids, that's going to be the, the ultimate contest for entomology. If you are a senior, then you can go on to the state contest, which is held on June 13th in College Station. So um, we've always made it to that contest. So if you're a senior this year, I would write it down the calendar and, and actually expect to go. The top two, if not three teams, get to move on. And the top two or three individuals get to move on to state. There are so few state um, kids competing in our district that we usually always make it to state, which is pretty exciting because we actually do very well at state. There's also, if, you, if studying these bugs doesn't sound interesting to your kids or to you, there's also the collection contest, and this is more self-paced. You do it on your own. You collect bugs as you go, and they're judged in College Station. You get them to me just before I leave to go up there for the contests, um, and we, we have the graduate students help me judge them. Um, if you go on YouTube and you look up the Bear Entomology channel, I have some videos of how to properly pin and get your collection um, a little bit ready. And I say submit by the end of May as long as it's before I head up there. I'll take it up there with me. And if you're not there, then you get a message from me with how your kiddos did, or you can head up there and see how they did there. The collection contest what they have to turn in varies by age, so the younger they are, the less bugs they have to do. I wouldn't take a screenshot of these because I don't know that it's still accurate, but it's probably pretty accurate. And I'll offer different collection times and workshops to help the kids get their collections ready. If you have any questions about how to become a 4-H member, where to do it, you want to contact our 4-H secretary, Pam, because she knows absolutely everything. Her number is 210-631-0400. I know little about it. Pam knows everything about it. Um, your yearly dues are $20 until October 31st, I think. Pam knows that for sure, so don't quote me on that. After that date, after a certain date in October, it then becomes the tw it becomes $25. They may have bumped that a month early to the end of September, only because they moved all our contests so much earlier in the year. They used to always be held in the spring. So join, um, save five bucks by doing it earlier. Pick a traditional club or pick our spin club. It, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you're a member of 4-H, then you can sign up for the contest when it's time to sign up for it. These are our um, practice dates that I have scheduled so far. These are somewhat tentative because um, I might have games for my kids that I have to kind of move the time around, cancel or move it to a different week. But I'm, I will try to give you as much notice as absolutely possible for that. They're all held here at the Extension Office in our conference room. These are Sunday dates after church time. Hopefully grab some lunch and you can get here um, for about an hour and a half. And I'll offer hopefully a couple other times, in, one in November, one in December, before we get ready for the collection contest. Um, also, if you join... Um, if you shoot me an email, say you're interested in joining, I have a, an, a GroupMe app that where I can change the dates, send you reminders, you can RSVP to different things, um, and that's a, kind of just an easy way to get a hold of me. 
when you need to get a hold of me or get a hold of other members of our um, contest. So if you have any questions about the entomology team, give me a call. My number at the office is 210-630-0400, or you can also shoot me an email, and I hope to see a bunch of your kiddos joining the collection contest or the ID contest this year.